What's up, Scorpio? How you doing? It's your girl, Alex. And I'm back, baby, to bring you guys another reading. Now, we talk about you. We talk about love. We talk about money. We talk about haters. We talk about everything, Scorpio. So we'll be talking about today. Mm. Angel said your transformational period. So that kind of feels like your birthday season. All right, universe, what we got, what we got. Ooh, queen of cups, the queen of love. That is feminine love, regardless of gender. It's a struggle, push, pull, starting to drift away at a crossroads. Knight of pentacles, slow and steady. Ace of Truth, the Ace of Swords, Scorpio, that's your stinger, darling. Death, the ending, due to breadcrumbing. Got it. Got it. So, quick and dirty. Um, I do. <laughs> I just heard, we just talk, we just, uh, we talk about love, we talk about this. So, this to me kind of feels like your heart, Okay. Now, especially when we talk about transitioning, I feel like your heart is good. Your heart is pure. It's heavily guarded, right? You keep it to yourself. Um, Six of Swords is, you know, kind of pacing yourself, kind of going with the flow. Um, some of you could be thinking about starting to distribute more love in your life, even if that's to yourself. I feel like some of y'all are tied and sick of Six of Pentacles, right? Uh, giving it away in droves. Look at that. Queen of, Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So this is your placement, right? This is the crux of this reading. So right now, it kind of feels like your heart is under the microscope. And I feel like... Many of you are holding on to things that block your heart. That's the best way I could say that, right? The Ten of Wands is just kind of holding on to stuff, holding on to grudges, holding on to the past, holding on to the woe is me. Well, you know, when I was 17, I had a boyfriend and... We were going to get married and then, you know, he went off to the Navy. I never heard from him, right? <sighs> That's a Ten of Wands, right? Ten of Wands is pinnacle. Ten of Wands is peaking. You know what I mean? Uh, ten of Wands is also indication that, baby, it's not serving you. You need to let it go. Oh, child, the ace of pokey things. Okay. Now, the two of pentacles is having an option. You can hold on to it or you can let it go. Those are your options. Those are your two choices. Hold on to it. Let it go. So there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. One, two, right? A one, two, a one, right? There's going to be some sort of breakthrough. The six of swords to me is coming across as relief. That's going to help to relieve you. Um, angels are also saying, too, it kind of feels like there's a crack in the dam. So for many of you, if you've been guarded, keeping to yourself in solitude, you know, loving your cat and your dog and your ferret, and that's it. I kind of feel like the universe is saying to you, okay, you can either keep doing that or you can open it up and, you know, enter a path where you're now, you know, going through some sort of trial and error, error, give it to, give it over here, but not over there. Give some here, but not over there. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Clarity and working it out. Nine of Wands. Okay. Nine of Wands is woundedness. Yeah. That's what you're holding on to is your wounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's deep. Closing out with the Queen of Cups now. Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Where's Pisces? So I got Cancer. I have Scorpio. Twice, Tower, Death, Scorpio, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, Cancer. Okay, so yeah, 
Angels just said this is unconditional love. Okay, remember we're talking about your heart, Scorpio. Forget who you're giving it to. So you are a beacon of or a vessel of unconditional love. But for so long, it's almost like you've been holding it back. Okay, the universe is about to present you with an option, a couple of options, right? Again, keep holding it back, but I don't think that's going to work because again, angels also just mentioned there's a break in the system. It's sitting right here with the tower card, right? There's a crack in the foundation, okay? Six of Swords and the Ace of Wands is setting off into, you know, um, some, some ex an exciting new adventure, you know what I mean? Angels are saying you're setting off into a, an exciting new adventure, but you got a slow start. Six of Swords. Okay. And I kind of feel like you're, you know, you're getting the momentum up. Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads. Two, two, you got options and crossroads. Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to turn over a new leaf? Or are we still going to be fucking with that nasty branch? Right? Okay. Ace of Swords with the Three of Pentacles kind of feels very clear to me that angels just said you need some sort of divine intervention. I don't know what that means in your situation with the death and the nine of wands, especially with the 10 of wands here. Some of you have been wounded for too long, right? For too long. Okay. And it's time to let it out, right? Because again, the 10 of wands is presenting to me like a dam, right? We're holding it up, holding it up, holding it up. But y'all know, like I know, it only takes a hairpin of a crack to eventually open those floodgates. Okay. Six of pentacles with the queen of cups is, is, is a seesaw of misbalance, right? But when the ace, the ace of cups here and the six of pentacles, it's almost like, one side is loving plentifully, right? Or you're loving in certain areas of your life, but then in other areas of your life, there's a drought. Okay. I hope this is making sense. <coughs> Queen of cups, ace of cups, you are the ocean, right? You are the, the mountaintops, right? You are the clouds. You are condensation, Scorpio. You are everything uh, on how water is created. You are everything on how water flows. But the universe is saying, darling, you're not flowing. Okay. And I know you're not flowing because your past wounds has you backed up. But I feel like there's going to be some sort of exciting new beginning that starts that flow again. Right now, you got to figure out, am I going to flow or I'm going to stay backed up? Universe is like, we don't give a shit about what you think you're going to do. But uh, here comes a tower moment that's going to increase that crack in the foundation. And when you start flowing, take your time. Okay. Um, not only that, but I also feel like tribe, group, right? friends, family, um, to help support you through this is going to be incredibly important. Okay. So I'm getting this message because I know Scorpio, you are a self-sacrificial sign, right? You tend to over-sacrifice. You tend to over-give. Okay. But angels are saying again, with you being an extreme sign, all or nothing, right? Either you're giving too much or you're not giving anything. You know, you need to learn moderation. Okay. In other words, the, there we go the six of pentacles, the seesaw. So in other words, I'm not going to give you unless you give me. When I give you, you give me. I give you, you give me. I give you. Right. That's, that's balance. That's flow. That's, that's reciprocity. That's fairness. Okay. But you sitting here as the, as all of the water. Oh, that's so interesting. You have to learn moderation, right? If you are a dam, yeah, you can't, you can't cut it off altogether. You do have to allow some of it to flow 
So the dam is not affected. So the dam is not in jeopardy of breaking, cracking. Got it. Now, angels, God, universe, because I have the ace of cups and a queen of cups there, right? That's all. That's a lot of cups. Okay. You have to learn how to mon monitor your moderate, manage the flow of love that you give to people because it's all or nothing. Either they're given, getting all of your love or they're getting none of your love. How does Scorpio manage that? Angel said, pull out that third row, girl. Okay, so how does Scorpio manage? I see the wheel of fortune there, right? Good times, bad times, good times, bad times. On top of the wheel, bottom of the wheel, right? Cycles, destiny. Yeah, seven of cups. There's the delusion illusion. That's what keeps the love flowing. The fantasy of love, being in love, hormonal love. Ooh, child, like we needed his ass out here. Control it. You mm, Emotional intelligence. Knight of Swords rushing. Yeah, okay. All right. Hey, happiness. So, yeah, Scorpio is too much of an intensive sign, intense sign for them to slow it down. It, that's almost like saying, if I put a plug in the wall, right, how does... Oh, shit. My angels just showed me a phone charger. I got it. So I was going to say, like, if you put a, I don't know, vacuum cleaner plug in a wall and you cut the vacuum on, all that current is going to power the vacuum. Well, angels was like that Scorpio. It's like, shoo, right. You move fast. You go to Ace of Wands. It's almost like a lightning bolt. That's how you love. That's how you distribute love. Well, the question was, well, how does Scorpio slow that to slow that down? And Angel said, that's why they showed me the phone charger, because a, a phone charger charges moderately. Right. It's metered. Right. Even some phones, even if your phone is at a certain percentage, your phone won't charge anymore until it drops percentage. Right. So I feel like Scorpio, that's a huge lesson for you in that. You may be burning yourself out. You may be um, causing a lot of your hurt and pain of especially relationships because you love so intensely, because you love so quickly. For some of you, because you fall so quickly, right? But that's a very, that's a very essence of Scorpio, right? That, that speed, that quickness. Uh, but somebody told me a long time ago, um, they said, I don't want to rush because I want to learn everything that I can, can learn. I want to enjoy the scenery. You know what I mean? So Scorpio, this could going into birthday season, instead of rushing into things where your heart is concerned, possibly your personal relationships, enjoy the scenery. Right. Enjoy the scenery. Enjoy, you know, going out and dating. Right. Or going out and, you know, riding like if you, you know, if the love is, you know, you love your car or your dog or right. If it's not a, a personal relationship, in other words, enjoy the newness of something. Enjoy it for what it is. Stop racing to the destination. Beautiful. Look at that motherfucker. Shit. So I kind of feel like, you know, sometimes the three of pentacles does present as my therapy card. And it was weird because in the beginning, you know, Angel said you may need a tribe, community, right? Third party, the third party who is on your side and who wants to contribute positively. OK, with this page of wands coming out here with the three of pentacles and ace of swords to me, the page of wands is immature, right? The page of wands for me is the definition of immaturity. OK, OK. Uh, childishness is what I meant. Okay. Cause all the pages are immature. Um, but I feel like with the ace of swords, the ace of truth, the clarity. Okay. Kind of feels like somebody is acknowledging, oh yeah, the reason why I do with fall in love quick, I do, you know, fall into puppy love 
is because I haven't learned mature love. I haven't learned to um, court. I haven't learned to date, right? I meet somebody and automatically I want to move in with them, right? That's unhealthy. That's unhealthy. Angels just said to me too, for some of you, there's a bit of codependency in there. Okay. There it is. The three of swords, third party, heartbreak that, well, that's what happens when you rush, right? The, th the page of wands is also my trigger card. Damn. Nine of wands again. Okay. So the nine of wands is woundedness. That's Sagittarius. Um, we have the 10 of wands there. We have the three of swords, seven of cups. So it looks as though, um, someone hasn't learned to love maturely, if that makes sense. Angels just said, somebody said, well, how do you love maturely? And the answer is take your time, right? In other words, get to know your person. Y'all ever hear of those couples who abstain, right? Yes, the Ace of Wands, right? So they abstain. They don't have sex as they're getting to know each other, especially for biological women. When they do have sex, they produce oxytocin and oxytocin is a hormone that bonds them to the person they had sex with. Okay. So says sex ups the ante, right? Sex ignites the relationship, you know, um, even further or higher, you know what I mean? So some of you technically good luck with that because Scorpio rules the genitals, right? Like good luck if you're going to abstain, right? Shout out to you. But you have some couples. I, mean, I know Steve Harvey wrote the book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, where he suggested that women should wait 90 days before having sexual intercourse with their partner. <sighs> good luck with that. And, and a Scorpio, first of all, you're a superhero. So I know any anything is possible, Okay. But I feel like this is not just speaking to relationships and dating specifically, right? It's not just talking about that. I really do feel like it's how you approach life, right? Because some of y'all, myself included, are adrenaline junkies. You want to feel the voltage of a lightning bolt. You want to feel the intensity. But baby, you know, like I know, um, lightning bolts kill people lightning bolts fry things or burn things. It shorts them out. So to an extent, angels just said, well, you just described Scorpio's love life in a nutshell. Cause it kind of feels like for many of you, your love affairs after a while shorten out. And angels just also said to me too, for Scorpio, for some of you, your current, right? is a steady lightning bolt. Okay. Imagine you dating a cancer, by the way, and you go to hold their hand. And as you make contact with their hand, they get shocked like a lightning bolt, like they're being struck by lightning. It's going to burn them out. So to an extent, Scorpio, sometimes other people cannot handle your current, your intensity. Okay. Not only that, but, um, what did you guys say? Um, it, it's impossible to have a steady lightning bolt all the time, all the time, all the time. Angels just said to me too, you, now you ever, now you discover to an extent why you tend to burn out in your love and relationships or why you go numb or why you get bored, Right. Because Scorpio, for some of you, not all of you, you need a constant voltage in your love life. You need a constant voltage at work. You need a constant voltage at home, right? You need a constant voltage in life. Now, here's the, the pickle, right? Cucumber pickle of this reading, right? You have the sun card, the tower, and the two of wands. To me, the sun card is you've just been enlightened. Now we have just shown light on a part of you to an extent that other people just can't handle. 
Now, as you're going forward, whatever that means, job, friends, social life, love, love affairs, whatever it is, to an extent, you know how to meter it, right? You know how to ration it out, you know, the little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Angels just said, well, how does Scorpio learn to do that without backing up and exploding themselves? Angel said, well, that's where the dam comes in because all of that pent up energy, Scorpio, it's about to go bawoosh. Okay. Now I'm, I'm a little concerned here. I'm a little concerned because when Angel said it's about to be released, the bawoosh, I'm like, well, how? Like, is that anger? Is that like a tantrum? Is that like an argument? Like, how is that going to happen? I feel like for some of y'all, it's going to be through communication. It could be stinging the dear life out of somebody. Angels just said, well, hell, Scorpio really needs to sting Scorpio to help release everything that's backed up in that dam. So when they start over, right, they're not already backed up. I hope that makes sense. Now, here's the irony, because angels just said that water that's backed up, as in your emotions, your previous emotional experiences, it's contaminated. Great. Fucking great. So you mean to tell me, <laughs> like, not only is the dam about to be released, for the purpose of draining it, that it's the now it's contaminated. That's here. That's here. They just showed me that. Right. It's contaminated with past hurt and pain. Right. And that's what, that's why you've been, you've done such a great job at trying to hold it back because you're not trying to contaminate other people, but then not only yourself. Y'all hear that Adele song is like, um, I was, I forget what song it is. I think it's to be loved. She was like, you know, I, I was hurt or wounded or something. And all I do is bleed on everyone else. Right. That's what, that's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. So let me explain this. Let me summarize this and explain this to the best of my ability in very simplistic terms. Okay. Some of you could be ready to love or you're emotional right now. Your heart is full. Okay. And I feel like you're wanting to, you want the equal and opposite love to connect with, to be able to release that love too. Okay. Now, if you do not have that other person or the other person that you have is not available to you or you don't have something that can catch that flow, so to speak, then that love stays inside of you. OK, now it can't stay inside of you. Universally speaking, it's it's backed up. Right. So the universe is about to send some sort of opportunity or shine light on the fact that you are kind of emotionally backed up for the purpose of helping you to release it. Okay. Now by releasing it, we're discovering, well, all that love that was backed up. Yes. Yeah, some of it is unconditional love, but then also a lot of it is the love I felt like I should have had from somebody else. The love I wanted to give maybe to those who ghosted me or abandoned me. Right. So Part of that love that's backed up is contaminated by past painful and hurtful experiences. Okay. So now once we start to release this emotion, okay, it is my recommendation that you don't release it to your partner or person that you release it somewhere else and then start over, right? Start over start over moderately, moderately. Okay. Um, with a clear goal or objective in, in place. Okay. So, uh, as an example, if you're single and you start dating, you need to have an objective. Am I dating for fun? 
right? To just, you know, break up the boredom every now and then. Am I dating for marriage? Am I dating for something long-term that may not be marriage, right? So in other words, when you start to interact with people on a romantic and especially sexual level, you need to have a goal and objective more than just being charged up, okay? You need to figure out, okay, after I get this charge, am I going to cure world hunger or am I going to go sit and watch football or baseball? Shout out to my Yankees. Come on, Mets. Come on, Liberty. All right. Anyway, um, so three of pentacles, sorry, three of cups, three of pentacles, three of swords, right? I feel like, um, with this goal or objective, okay, that, you know, again, I'm getting into this for this purpose. You have to have that purpose. So now that you have that purpose, Another way to moderate is to now stop it now kind of don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Don't look for all of your intensity in this one person. Use other people in other events to help you with some of that intensity. Here's an example. If you're in a relationship, and say, for instance, you and your partner live somewhere where it's just you. Y'all don't really have established friends. So in other words, you now don't have your tribe. You don't have like a third party fun event or something to help relieve a lot of that um, intensity. Take up kickboxing, hot yoga, jogging, working out, um, chess, right? In other words, you need a third option to help you manage and moderate your intensity. Wow. This is a good, good reading for you, Scorpio. Okay. Um, if not right outcome, six of pentacles, that's charity. That's, that's, you know, kind of giving you what I have left over and to give someone what they have left over to someone who is always giving right? Whether they have it left over or whether they're, whether it's their last sound like you Scorpio, right? That scenario is not working. That scenario is not working. It's not right. You're wounding yourself more, you know, forget everybody else. You're wounding yourself Scorpio. Okay. So you need to change how you distribute love. That was the me message at the very beginning. You're so freaking loving, so loving, unconditional love, by the way. And it just flows off of you, right? Like Niagara Falls, you know, and for many of you, people become drunk by it. That's what it is. But you need to control it better because it's hurting you, not helping you. Now, angels, let's look at that scenario, right? Like if, if, if Scorpio's walking around like a damn fall, right? If Scorpio's walking around like a, a waterfall, how do they um, not get people drunk by their love? Because that's a task. Just do you say to Scorpio, okay, turn your fa faucet off. <laughs> That's funny. Ah, very fucking good answer. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what I just heard was, okay, y'all, I need your visualization help here. Okay. If you're this overflowing waterfall, Ace of Cups, you just walk and just, just, right? The answer is very simple. Some of y'all want to give all that love. You stay around one person, right? And you just around that person fucking drowning them, right? The threes here says move around. Go get, go stand with your mom and your kids and let it overflow there or find a hobby or job or something and overflow there. Okay. So long story short, spread that shit out. <laughs> spread that shit out. Um, Angel said codependency keeps them around this one person. 
they, they're afraid to spread it out. God, this is a good reading. Angel said, start there. Okay, that's good. Because this could go on forever. Because, you know, I'll be asking questions. I'm curious. So, Scorpio, when it comes to, again, the distribution of love in your life, you got to spread it out to keep it even. And by spreading it out to keep it even, that helps for you and the people around you to not become drowned and drained by your love, right? Because I don't know anybody who swims or doesn't swim, but swimming is fucking tiring, okay? You can damn die just by, <sighs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> sorry, I just heard myself breathing. You could die by just trying to stay afloat. And the universe is like, Scorpio in Scorpio season, uh-uh, baby. Some of y'all gonna have to learn how to backstroke or doggy stroke or just float, right? Just, just, you know, go with the flow. Just sit on top of the water and let the water take you where it's going to take you. Because right now you're drowning. Angel said, some of y'all, I was going to say you're drowning the people you're around. But then angels also said to me too, some of y'all are drowning your damn selves. Mm, child, I got to go. All right. Oh, by the way, personal readings are closed. Closity, close, close. Okay, so if you go to Calendly, it's going to look like I'm booked up. There ain't no appointments out there. I don't know when I'm going to open them again. Maybe sometime in December or January. Um, the other thing, too, we have our Scorpio hangout this Saturday, October 26th. Um, and also November 2nd. Uh, I sent out the Zoom link to those who were a part of the event that I canceled by mistake. A new event is out there. The link is in the description box. Um, and for those of you who are part of the, del the, the deleted, uh, event, I did send the link out. Uh, so let's see what angels have for Scorpio for Scorpio. Don't you, don't let your pride hold you back. Get in your way. Don't let your pride get in your way. Right. Because your pride says, well, shit, they need to be loving me, too. Al they need to be loving me, too, Alex. You're absolutely right. But, baby, if I'm fighting for my life, trying not to be drowned by your love, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to give you shit because I'm fighting for my own life because you're drowning me. OK, I'm just saying. A time to give rather than take. There we go. Time to give to yourself. Right. Look, go fill up a tub and go take a bath. Right? Go dr not drown yourself, but go drench yourself in some old, some old God's beautiful H2onic creation. I did say H2onic. Expect powerful change. Last but not least, it's another Leo card. Confidence is the key to, to success. So you got two Leo cards here, a Virgo card and a full moon eclipse, new moon eclipse. So that's Leo. Leo's a fire sign and I have Aries and Sagittarius here. Sagittarius there and Leo here. So those are the fire signs. So that was symbolized to me Mars. Mars is the sign, the red planet, the sign of courage and power and strength and, you know, aggression and, you know, stamina, right? So... Um, Angel said, you have the power to do this. You have the power to manage your emotions. You have the power to manage your flow. Ah, I love that. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you. Bye.